Hi, Zach. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us here today for the Chancellor Connection. I got to meet Zach when he came by my office. He's running for state representative, for one thing, but uh -huh. he's a pretty busy man. Came and spent quite a bit of time with me and I got to know him. Great alum of the institution. So Zach, tell everybody about your experience with UAFS. So I was at UAFS from uh, 2011 to December 2015. Lived on campus all four years. Best decision I ever made. I did student ambassadors. I was a founding father of Pi Kappa Phi. Um, I was a chaplain for that organization. I was also the Fraternity Council president, and I was kind of forced into that, but I ended up loving it. It was great. And I, man, I went to everything. You know, I went to everything. I mean, it sounds like the perfect everything. collegiate experience. It's the living on campus, everything's convenient, safe campus, get to meet all the people. And UAFS was the perfect size. I had access to everything I needed. It allowed me go, to go into leadership that I would not have been able to do at um, a larger university. Mm -hmm. Your teachers at UAFS, they, they, they taught me how to have grit. They taught me how to, how to study, how to learn. I learned a lot about, about the biology. I learned a lot about science. And so what I've learned there, the great thing about STEM is that technology part, the stuff I've learned, I can now apply. Mm -hmm. So all that content, I'm now in a place where I can apply the stuff I've learned. I'm not just teaching science, I'm using science. And so for space and flight, I'm teaching hydroponics. I'm teaching kids how to grow food. I'm hopefully gonna teach kids to cook food. Uh, I, I'm doing all that stuff. So, and all that's just science that I'm just able to apply, you know? Um, so I definitely had some really impactful impactful professors while I was there. That's amazing. Well, and I appreciate the fact that you let us be in your classroom. Absolutely. I know that one thing that you've offered to me and I'm so excited about it is you're gonna teach me how to make a glider? Is that yeah, right? Yeah. Tell me about that. So, so what we're gonna do is we are going to, the last couple of days, kids have been drawing out the we'll call them schematics for these these little gliders. Okay. And what we want to do with them is we want to be able to uh, take them and we're going to launch them. And students gliders and who are more precise and more accurate, who did a better job measuring, will move the air better and go further. So we're trying to do things, have students have meaning to data have students be able to see how what they've done, they can interpret data based on what they just did and how we can visualize that data in something other than numbers. Amazing. So that's where we're going with it. It's okay. gonna be fun and then we're gonna do some tough stuff, but okay. it's gonna be good. I hope I don't let you down. I don't think you will. I, you're, pretty, you're pretty good. We're gonna have a great time. Yeah, and so I, I can't so. wait to learn more about how to make a glider. Thank you so much, Zach. And Absolutely. of course, Darby Middle School for allowing us to come in today. Anytime.